That was Kara Hodorowski, the daughter of a small business owner who got the great news from Barstool Sports founder Dave Portnoy. And Kara joins us right now. I tell you, it, it choked me up, Kara, when I saw that. It, it must have done a lot more than that for you and your family. This is a family operation. Your dad, your aunt, your uncle are involved with it. It's a, it's a bowling alley. We can see it behind you. Um, talk at first about the timing at Christmas time. This, was, this really was a Christmas miracle for you, wasn't it? Oh, absolutely. And we actually got to announce that we were selected on my grandfather's birthday. He's now passed away, but he was the founder of the bowling center. So to be wow. able to announce that and give good news right before Christmas at a time when we really needed this good news, it was really emotional. And the, the great thing about this fund, it's not just a one-time payment. This, this is, as I understand, maybe I'm wrong here, but I, I, I guess it's a certain amount every month until you can completely reopen. Is that right? Yes, uh, Dave Portnoy and what they're doing with the Barstool Fund is amazing. They are not putting a Band-Aid on a cut that won't stop bleeding. They are promising to be with us every single step of the way, which is exactly what we need right now. And, you know, it's what's wonderful, another thing about this that is uniquely American, in, in other countries, I know the government's spending trillions of dollars and so forth, but a lot of that money has strings attached. It's got bureaucracies attached to it. This is, this is more straightforward, is it not? It is. It's a donation to give back to these small businesses that are constantly doing things for the communities that they're a part of. Tell us how long you think it's going to be before you can reopen, and are you ready for it? Well, right now, we've gotten the word that here in Pennsylvania, we are tentatively reopening January 4th. Uh, of course, it'll be at 50 percent capacity, so that limits everything. We are ready, though. We have um, lots of pandemic cleaning procedures and policies for social distancing in place. We want to get our employees as many hours as we can get them, and we want to get people uh, safely doing activities that seem to get us back to more of a normal life as soon as we can. Now, is, is 50 percent enough for you to break even? No, which is why this fund is so important. So so you'll need it until then. Any, any word from, I know the governor has been a uh, in Pennsylvania has has been in many people's eyes too big a fan of lockdowns. Uh, any is he at all receptive to to your concerns and the concerns of other businesses that that can't turn a profit uh, with current lockdowns? Uh, quite honestly, I think the business part of it is kind of pushed on the back burner right now, especially here in Pennsylvania. We we need to work, you know, to make money and to make ends meet and to support all the families that rely on our company for their income. Has, has the government there, the state government, told you anything about vaccines and when that might allow things to change? Because clearly that is a game changer, uh, not only for the country as a whole, for the world as a whole, but for specific businesses like your own. It is, yes. And no, we haven't heard any specific information, just that things can change on a whim. So Super Bowl, Valentine's Day, they're keeping eyes on gatherings. And at any moment, we could be mandated to close again. Have you tried to contact the governor or other uh, public officials that have control over these lockdowns? We have. We work with other small businesses in the area to reach out as much as possible. Uh, but there's only so much you can do and, and only so much you can do to advocate for the small business to be open, but also to do it in a safe manner, because we do, of course, want to keep people healthy as well. You know, we just had a congresswoman elect on, Kara, who's, who came from a communist country from the old Soviet Union to America to, to escape government control and government bureaucracy and government authoritarianism. And she's worried about it growing here. Uh, we have to go, but I just wonder quickly, are you optimistic or pessimistic about America's future after all this? I want to say I'm always optimistic, <laughs> but okay. let's, we'll see what happens. <laughs> well, let's, let's focus on the optimistic part of it. The private sector is still alive and well and contributing to wonderful businesses like yours. Thanks to Barstool Fund uh, and thanks to private sector all over the United States. I think we're going to make it. Kara, I wish 2021 a much better uh, year coming than the one that we just went through. I'm, sh I'm sure it will be. And best of luck to you and your business.